Ever felt like you're stuck in a web of office politics, unable to focus on your work? You see, office politics is like gravity. You may not see it, but it's always there. It's an intricate dance of influence and power that exists in every workplace. While it can sometimes be a force for good, fostering healthy competition and collaboration, it can also, unfortunately, hinder productivity, create unnecessary stress, and decrease job satisfaction when handled poorly. Well, you're not alone, and there are ways to navigate through this without getting entangled. Before we dive into the strategies, it's important to understand what office politics really is. In essence, office politics arises from the natural power dynamics, competition, and personal ambitions that exist within any workplace. It's like the undercurrent that moves beneath the surface of your office life, shaping the way decisions are made and relationships are built. Now, office politics isn't necessarily a negative thing. When handled with care, it can lead to healthy competition, personal growth, and organizational success. It can foster an environment where ideas are shared openly and everyone's contribution is valued. However, when mishandled, office politics can quickly turn toxic. It can breed resentment, stifle innovation, and create an environment where people are more focused on their personal agendas than the company's success. The key to navigating office politics effectively is to understand its nature. Recognize it as a reality of workplace life, neither inherently good nor bad. It's just a tool, like any other, that can be used for better or worse, depending on the wielder. Understanding office politics is the first step in learning how to avoid getting caught in its trap. Now that we've understood what office politics is, let's discuss some practical tips to avoid getting involved in it. First and foremost, concentrate on your work and performance. It's easy to get distracted by the drama unfolding around you, but remember why you're there in the first place. Focus on your tasks, your goals, and the value you bring to the team. By doing so, you're not only maintaining your productivity, but you're also making yourself less available for political maneuvers. And next, maintain a positive attitude. It's all about perspective. If you view office politics as a toxic game, it's likely to affect your outlook and performance. Instead, see it as a challenge to rise above. A positive attitude can make you resilient, enabling you to handle any situation with grace and poise. Thirdly, avoid engaging in gossip and rumors. It might be tempting to join in on the chatter, but it only fuels the fire of office politics. By staying clear of gossip, you're not only preserving your integrity, but also sending a clear message that you're not interested in participating in negative discussions. Now, this doesn't mean you should isolate yourself. In fact, it's important to build a network of positive relationships. Connect with colleagues on a professional level and foster relationships based on mutual respect and trust. These relationships can serve as a buffer against the negative aspects of office politics. Lastly, if you're unsure about how to handle a situation, don't hesitate to seek guidance from mentors. These are individuals who have navigated the same waters, and their insights can be invaluable. They can provide counsel, help you see different perspectives, and guide you in making decisions that are in line with your professional values and goals. Remember, the goal is not to completely avoid office politics, but to navigate it in a way that it doesn't hamper your productivity or peace of mind. Let's quickly recap what we've discussed today. We started off by providing an overview of office politics, the often detested yet inherent aspect of any workplace. It's important to remember that while it's something most of us would rather avoid, Understanding it is key to navigating it effectively. We then went deeper into understanding office politics. We emphasized that it's not always about backstabbing and unethical maneuvers. More often than not, it's about influencing, building alliances, and understanding the power dynamics within the office. In essence, it's about knowing the rules of the game. Next, we outlined some practical tips to steer clear of office politics. We talked about maintaining professionalism at all times, keeping our communications clear and transparent, and fostering a positive environment. It's about focusing on our work and achievements rather than getting embroiled in unnecessary power plays. We also highlighted the importance of empathy and understanding as it helps us see things from the perspective of others, which can be a powerful tool in avoiding office politics. As we wrap up, let's remember that while office politics are a part of the corporate world, 
They don't have to dictate our work lives. We have the power to rise above it and focus on what truly matters, our work and our personal growth within the organization. Mastering these strategies will help you stay focused on your work and maintain a healthy work environment. Remember, your work is your ultimate ticket to success, not office politics.